Um, but personal stuff happened, so I chose to um, get off the road. Um, there, There's no rent areas open or closed or full of trash. There's no parking. There's no good food. You know, truck drivers drive 24-7, not just certain hours, you know. It, it just became a whirlwind of nasty OTR, and it, it's not something that I felt like I wanted to, put my, to keep myself in at that time. Right. Um, so, yeah, I decided to know local where I was treated like uh, me. They know who I am. We have six of us. Uh, that whole wood chips, which people don't understand what that is. Um, yeah, we'll touch either. on that in a minute. Yeah. Um, so that's where I went. I went local. I I, bought, I found a, a huge company, mainly dump trucks, but, you know, I'm one of the six um, wood, haul, wood chip haulers. All right. All right. So... Of course, you you've been out uh, OTR. Have you touched? Uh, have you have you touched all forty eight states? The only state I have not did not run South Dakota. Okay, so South Dakota was one of the states that you didn't didn't touch down at, huh? Correct. Out of all the states you South went, South Dakota is the only one. Out of all the states you went through, which one do you consider the best? I loved Wyoming. Even though it's windy and icy, as <laughs> yeah, California. Mm -hmm. I'd run produce from California, um, all the way back to the East Coast, and then hook up with high value loads, mm -hmm. and that's a different monster in itself. Um, and take them back out west. Oh, okay, in California. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right. So, being that uh that that you was out for that year. Um, of course, uh, Corona hit, uh, changed the outlook of, of everything and, and really, really affect us truck drivers in more ways than one. Um, but yeah. before Corona hit, there was still some crazy stuff that was going on out there. The disrespect, the, the trash, the places that's not. Uh, truck friendly for truckers to you know to do their shopping or or you know to enjoy you know out here because the biggest the biggest catch to everybody now is you know they 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 try to sell you on oh well come on out here and truck driving you can see the world and you can make money while you at it but the world that you see is the interstates, the shippers, the receivers, the truck stops. Yeah. Correct. That's the kind of world that Correct. we see. <laughs> most definitely. Most definitely. And, you know, you get your little breaks or your 34s here because I ran T 7,000 miles a week. That's why I was pulling. Um, so... Yeah, I mean, you if you want to do all that stuff, go to the Grand Canyon and all that stuff, you got to figure it out on your own and how to make that happen. You know, um, I did stuff like that. But I also told my company, yo, wait, I'm out here to run for you to, to make y'all money, to make myself money, but also to see stuff. And this is how I'm doing that. Some companies will be like, ha, not. But exactly. okay, I can go somewhere else. So, but it's not all sightseeing out there. It's really not. It's really not. I mean, you got to really go after that if that's what you want to do here and there once in a while, you know. But it's 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 trash. It's dirty. It's other truckers trying to run you off the road because they have some hostility. If I don't know problems of their own. It's not a pretty game. It's not a pretty world out there. It's really not. Mm. And. So in of course in your in your post you, you did mention all of the stuff that you just mentioned. Uh garbage, trash, especially no parking. Especially no parking up in the northeast. Um Oh, there's none. How 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 is it how how is it up in the northeast as far as parking goes? There's no parking in the northeast. There was like one truck stop. We're all parked on 
on ramp, on ramp, off ramp, you know, trying to find a, a fuel station somewhere, you know, that like not there anymore. Anywhere you can find it is dangerous parking on the side of the road. It is downright dangerous. And these states just don't care. They want you in their state to drop off the stuff and get back out. They do not want you in their state. Or cities, for that matter, because we got we got a couple. For that of cities, matter, yeah, yeah, we got a couple of cities that's mandating uh park uh no parking for semis as well. Right, they don't want you in there. They don't want us in there. They want our product, but they just don't want us in there. And I think, you know, if we're gonna be driving through your state to drop you off stuff, you should have adequate parking, adequate truck stops. You know, it should be easier on us. It's not easy. It's hard out there. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Especially where you mentioned also that uh, that's there's no good, there's no good health foods out here. Now, I, I'm I'm going to accredit this to to Loves in particular. Now they're they're changing yep. a little bit. You know, they calling themselves getting some healthier items in there, but. Not all of not all of the truck stops uh, has healthy selections. I mean, majority of them, right. majority of them, with the exception of the Flying J's, which you know they got Denny's, uh, um, um, Petros, uh, with the Iron Skillet. But I believe Iron Skillet is going half through of a those tr- are not even open. Exactly, exactly. And some of those are being in transition as well. Some of them are converting over to IHOPs. So, Correct. There, yeah, there's so hopefully what well, IHOP coming into uh, Petros will make it, you know, make, uh, you know, healthy eating habits a little bit better. But, man, yeah. loves with the. With the loves, with that the, was my choice. With the, with the churches. Loves was my choice as salad bowls and stuff that they have, you know, the mm-hmm. yogurt, like the fruit. That's where I went to the center island. <laughs> like I you said, know, they I got, mean, that's where you kind of got to go. They, they changing, you know, they changing for, you know, for healthier items. But before that, I mean, you know, with McDonald's churches, that God awful Chester chicken and, and other, oh, yeah. and, and other foods is just, it's just not good. It's it's just not good for us. And I know a lot of us comes into Facebook groups and say, yeah, well, why don't you get yourself a cooler and, and bring your own food and all like that? Sometimes that is that is kind of hard in itself, too. You know? It is. I was fortunate enough on I had a freight shaker, which everybody laughed about, but I'm telling you, it was a good truck. Um, I had a small mini fridge that was already installed in there when I got it. I was fortunate enough to have a brand new truck pretty much, only with 5,000 miles on it. Um, and um, I installed another mini fridge on my top bunk. So, you know, when I could get to Walmart and underneath the bottom bunk, I stored food and water like crazy. I mean, I was in Texas when that ice storm happened last year. I was stranded for five days. Mm. If I didn't have stuff on my truck cooked, I don't know what I would have done. Me, I, I was probably out would have went to a hotel. Nowhere in a dirt patch. There was no hotel. There's mm. nothing. And half of them didn't even have power because they're all ran off this windmill garbage. Oh, well, so much for me. I probably so. would have been. <laughs> 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 no, let me tell you. I made sure my tanks were full. I knew the storm was coming, and there was no way around it. There was no way around it. All right. You know, so I was fortunate enough to be able to cook on my own truck. So, so I could get out of there. Heather, man, you 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 go on to say uh, that this is a lifestyle. You you came to you coming into this industry came to understand that this this is just more than a job it, it is a lifestyle it is a life changing uh life changing job i mean you know you can't just do the regular 9 to 5 and then go home and then nope. all like that i mean you're 
your your life literally changed. You driving the truck for damn you you're in the truck for damn near 24 hours a day. You know, considering the fact yep. that you're driving for 11 hours of that time um, and you're 14 hours on that, which leaves in the, which leaves you with 10 hours just to sleep. So or, Correct. you know, sleep or do whatever you want to do. But you got to at least get your adequate rest. Um, yeah, that's the most important thing is the sleep, not staying up, sitting in that passenger seat while the other one's driving. I mean, not playing on your phone, not watching that TV. You need your sleep. And it's hard enough to sleep in a truck that is shaky and potholes going down the road. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it takes some time to get used to, but this is a lifestyle. I packed everything up and put it in storage, and this is what I did. You know? Mm-hmm. I, I left the 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. You know, and this is 24-7. It's a lifestyle. You give up a lot, but there's stuff to, you know, you get a lot back out of it. Depends on how much you put into it. Exactly, exactly. So being that... Uh, I think... Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I think a lot of the, the newer drivers, they don't have a concept of that. You know, it's just like, oh, this is cool. I'm going to go out. I'm going to truck drive, and I'm going to make billions of dollars. Ha! That doesn't it doesn't work like that at all. But let me ask, how it rolls. Now let me ask you this. Uh well let me let me uh let me kind of like segue into uh into that. Um you did say sure. that uh that being that this is lifestyle and not a oh how you know how good I'm looking with the makeup and the nails and stuff like that. Oh my lord. You know, then that's on yeah. a female that's on the female side of the, of of trucking. But with that, but with that said, and what you just got finished saying, uh, do you attest to now with social media being the way it is now? Do you attest that coming from all these social media drivers, these so-called influencers that's that like you said, that's over here making truck driving look cool and 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 you can look beautiful and 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 you come out here and get your money and all like that. Do you attest? Do you attest that to to them by making by making trucking looking some uh, some kind of way? I do. I mean, there's too many of them out there. It's social media. That's that's the life now. I mean, that's it, they're portraying something that's not really. Why don't you put on there all the garbage, all the trash, how it really is on a daily out there. You're sitting around at shippers for eons of hours, even though your appointment was the day before, you know, and you're still sitting there, you know, it, it, it's garbage. You can't go out there. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know how these women did it, but I was sick to my truck. I was working on my trailer. I was greasy and dirty. I don't know how in the world you could put on a dress or high heels or a dang on mini skirt or for these guys riding around in suits and top hats. And that's no joke either. How do you do that? I mean, do you just sit in your truck and you just like call somebody to come fix your stuff? You got to learn how to fix lights. You got to learn how to change lights. You need to learn how to rewire stuff if needed to get you somewhere when you're, you know, three, 400 miles away from a place that you can get your stuff fixed. You have to have tools on that truck. You got to do it. And I don't know this cute, I wear makeup and nails. Sure, I'd love to do that too. But that's not the reality out there. It's mm. not. Mm. That's what's up. That's what's up. It's it's not about it's not about trying to look cute as a you know as a driver out here. It's all about trying to no. you know trying to make sure that you get down these roads safely. Uh, you know, get down right. get down to your uh, delivery to your shipper safely on time. You know. I'm not doing 
Weeble.